Welcome back. This is Kogu with another Three Heart Let's Play of Cave Story. Let's uh, let's find the Z and X key again. I gotta really learn where shit is on the keyboard, you know. Okay, so we left off in Arthur's house. Got you look familiar. I believe I told you guys remember that. Uh, yes, I do want to do this. Uh, damn it! Freaking right keys. Okay, so this right here is gonna be your main mode of transportation around the whole island dealy here. There's there's beds up there it's up top. You can rest on them. There's green crap down in the bottom right there that I didn't bother dealing with. The heart container down there. Yeah, so instant death. Just kind of flying back and forth along the bottom. We're going to ignore that because we don't need to go down there right now. And, oh, okay, good. Now we are... Since I have no intention of taking hits, this is pretty much going to be what the... what the Polar Star is going to look for as long as I have it. Yeah, so, I don't, where do these elephants come from, anyway? This, this, they're very they're very small elephants, I'm assuming. Maybe elephants, something like that, I don't know. And look at that, we have some more Mimikas. Oh yeah, you guys are reading this. Damn it! Mimikas are very squishy, they're like chew toys, apparently. Look at this, she's just, she's just completely no cells. the punches she just took to the gut. Gets up and says hi. And big mean old jerk runs away. As white dude down there has been just going back and forth the whole time. Uh, yeah, let's go in here. I don't need to go all the way to the top. We'll talk to Cthulhu here. I don't remember the, I don't know the exact way to pronounce that. Yeah, so it turns out you're not from the you're not from the island. You're from the the surface. You're from planet normal, whatever. I don't actually know how much of the story is covered yet. In the, wherever you <clears throat> like, if there's a manual, and whatnot. Cause I know some dungeon games come come with uh, online manuals. So they, they, well, not online. HTML explaining what the hell's going on. Some of them are online as well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much of the I don't know how much is explained by Pixel itself before you actually pick the game up, so I'm trying to be I'm trying to be wary of spoiling things. We're almost at egg oh, look at that. Oh crap. Okay, well this didn't kill me. I got that's I gotta be careful when I'm doing this, don't I? Oh. Okay, this this will solve things. Oh no, it won't because I can't. All right. So yeah, you gotta find the right terminal. It's always the the same terminal terminal anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's I think it'd be a little more interesting, but I, it wouldn't be feasible if it was different terminals every time. So you can see here the it's the red ones that are the ones you want to look at. So it's one and six, I believe the other one is. Yep. There we go, back to full health, I guess you could call it. Kind of pitiful to call this full health, what are you gonna do? Waiting game is awesome. Grab this up here, because this becomes very important for the rest of the game. Missile launcher! Useful stuff. Only weapon in the game that requires ammo, though. So. Alright, we're done with here. Guys respawn, which is pretty nice. You can use, use the Polar Star to grab the, the stupid things, the stupid yellow power triangle things, and fill up the missile launcher with them. You want to get it leveled up quickly, pretty much as soon as possible. And guy is stuck behind wall, even though his buddies can fly through them. I don't know why that is. We'll just ignore him. We'll let him bounce into that wall face first repeatedly. It's, it's very Mega Man X3 ish moment right there. Whoa. God damn, I really need to stop getting hit. Oh wait, no, I want this one. 
Now I need to refill this thing as well. Alright, we're all set there. So it was one and six, so here's one. And you can see that's the barrier the computer screen was talking about. This is... If you ignore the, the heart at the beginning, the heart tank thing at the beginning, this is the only time that the... that the white... the little white instant kill guy... Oh yeah, that's right. This one contains the computer. The other one contains the... need the ID card. Whoa, look out. That was close. Where did all the bugs go? There they are. Go all the way back to number six. All right, yes. Uh, I really am way too reckless to be doing this. It's, I imagine there will be a, a lot, a lot, a lot of deaths before this is finally over. Especially since, yes, I have stated that I will be running hell. Ooh, we're careful about this. See, uh, okay, see, dodging him, the easiest thing ever. Let's go on down here into egg number six. I wish you could make it on the jump from the ground. It would save an extra jump. It'd be pretty convenient. Save you a few seconds of your life. Because you know that's exactly what you want to be doing while you're playing dungeon games. This is uh, not wasting time. So I have to go all the way back to the... Uh... Hey, I'll spare you the details. And we're back here. So we can take the ID card we grabbed and unlock that stupid barrier. I grab the missile again, even though we don't need it. He's coming that. Way. He's coming back in that way. By the way, um, don't bother trying to kill this guy. It doesn't work. Which is kind of a shame. I'd, I'd like to be able to kill him, but so it goes. A big red jerk again. Oh. Alright, so you only get hit by him once when you're doing one of these. Oh jeez, did not mean to do that. Okay. Oh! Uh, okay, all set. So yes, he was just a normal Mimi guy. He was just insane. And he was Igor. That there's a Dr. Frank. Can't talk to him, unfortunately. He's a little tail there. I don't know if there's a Dr. Frankenstein wandering around or whatnot. And look, another Mimi Guff from earlier is still knocked out. Now she's back, and she's facing the wrong way. Uh, yeah, why not? Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, it's Mimi Go that hates the island. Like, people are reading this. Like, I really gotta stop doing that. Password, um... Try XABY, that might work. Such language from a lady. I wonder what language that they do use on the island that you're all able to communicate with each other then. Well, thanks. Still needs a password. And that is done. We have rescued. I rescued the uh, the blue-clad female Mimiga. Uh, I believe that will be it for now. It's probably reaching the um, reach time limit really soon. So. There we are, and then in the next video we're going to be going back to the Egg Corridor, back to the Mimiga Village. Hope to see you then.